Okay, now this chief chiefism. What's up, good people? Um, if you haven't subscribed to the GoGo Loops, you can do that at gogoloops.com. Subscribe to the GoGo Loop. I send samples out, free samples and discount codes and different tips and tricks. I'm gonna start sending more videos to the GoGo Loop. But sign up there or Facebook slash for uh, facebook.com slash uh, GoGo Loops. Like us on there. Subscribe to the YouTube. And today I want to do a uh, quick tutorial about syncing GoGo Loops, syncing the actual GoGo Loop into Reason. I'll be using Reason 10. So what I like to do usually is start off with 85 beats per minute and um, go in. I mean, you could go over here to your browser and however you got your files. I actually got the GoGo Loops here, but for the tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can just drag and drop real easy. Um, I had some loops over here. Okay. So, what you do is drag a beat on in. Bow. And. You can see by the grid how close the beat is to being in perfect sync. In that case. I was wrong. In this case, it's a little short. So you hit shift option and it will time stretch it and lock it right into the grid. Now this one was pretty close to 85 already, but that's pretty much the secret time stretch. I just hit option slide to copy and paste it. Then you check it. Oh, you got to put your loop on. Make sure it's looping right. Already got two, so I know it's pretty seamless. Now that's the pocket. Ow! Also, y'all, we're going to do it for that Uptown crew. So that's one. That's a beat from Go Go Loops 2, by the way. The um, Ibex edition. HB Ibex edition. Uh, I'll try a couple more. Let's see. Any of them will do. Let's try this one. Same thing. Zoom in a little bit. This one look like it's a little short. Shift option. Time stretch it. Move it till it lock right into the grid. And you should be in there. Check it out. So you wanted to add another beat to it. Same thing. So drag it on in. This one look like it's a little over the grid. Make sure you on snap too before you do any of this. Make sure it's on snap. Because that's what makes it locked into the grid. If not, you're sliding all over the place. Uh, shift option. I'm going to pull it back a little bit till it lock in. It's in snap mode. You're ready to go. That's very important. Snap. Um, slide it back to here. See how this sound together. I mean, it's just an example. A lot of times you won't need but one loop. Or maybe, a, you know, depends on what you're doing. But. Like Legos. Um, okay. Let's try to do something from um Hey, let's take this smoke with JYB joint from Go Go Loops One. That joint got a little it got a little buzz in it, but that's just for demo purposes only. Let's show you how to how it does how it be does by the pros. You did. Let's show you how the pros do it. I just threw that in there as a demo. Yeah. 
good JY. Smoke. Right? That's another one. It's not hard. That sample from Go-Go Loops 1. Um, let's try something from Go-Go Essentials. Of course, the ones from the MPC Crank Pack are done on the grid by a drum machine, so they lock right in. You don't have to adjust them at all. But for these live ones and these, like the Essentials Pack, for instance, let's take the one-on-one. -on -one. Well, actually, I'm going to undo that because... Those are at 80, so I'm going to go ahead and just put 80 in here, and they should lock right in. Um, one-on-one, -on -one, right? Actually, it went a little over. Shift option. Slide it into the grid. And another thing I heard, it was a, uh, her little, where the fade at? Hmm. There's a little click on there. So, you usually could drag it, just drag it right here, but something in my settings must have changed. But anyway, right here, you could fade it in and out, right? Because that on the end was gonna make it click. And you don't want that. It usually just lets you, oh, there you go. Maybe I wasn't coming over far enough. Anyway, right there, boom. It took that click off the end. Now, I'm sure if you take it off a uh, grid, course you probably could um if you take it off snap you could adjust the fade a little more slight so you could still get that little double in it right so that's how you do that put it back on snap so you can make sure you slide in place um okay let's try that this from gogo -Go loops essentials that's one on one let's try to add the congos to that right Make it all work together. option and make it lock all the way into the grid see that one a little short and once you do that everything should be gravy after that option slide copy paste it that and had a, had a feel in it that in that uh, loop right there had a feel in it. So you, as you can see in essentials, you get different variations of these beats so you can make it sound more live. So that was something from Gogo -Go Essentials. And that's pretty much it. Um, make sure you just subscribe to the Gogo -Go Loop at gogoloops.com. Subscribe to the YouTube, like us on Facebook, and appreciate you watching. And make sure y'all keep it cranking.